I'm Sir Tapdab, and this is Seraph. This is a platforming. It's, they describe it as an acrobatic platformer with uh, with no aiming, sort of. Uh, we'll see what that means in a second. I just want to poke around. The, the the control or the options are pretty standard. Um, what you might expect on a console game. Um, you know, nothing super deep, but uh, it does have this twitch mode, which is really cool. Uh, also, one nice feature, it auto detects whether you know. You're trying to play with the uh, keyboard or the mount or the uh, controller, and it doesn't just disable the keyboard when you uh, start up with a uh, controller or vice versa, which is nice. Um, so yeah, this game has different multiple difficulties. I, it, I think it has some sort of auto difficulty or like difficulty scaling because it's got beginning at difficulty 7.0 and stuff. It has a speedrun mode, which um, I really like games that have. Uh, you know, dedicated mode to that. I really like the the options this game gives you in in, in that way. Um, you can also auto skip tutorials, conversations, hide gameplay hints, um, and there's this Twitch mode where people can vote. Obviously, I'm not you know streaming this, but maybe sometime um, in Twitch mode, uh, viewers can vote on randomly selected positive or negative multipliers before the next level. Enter your username and stuff. So yeah, you you can add you can you know kind of like we did with Cluster Truck. Um, yeah, let's just start a new game here. I actually meant to do this quite some time ago, but uh, we're getting to this. Uh, review cap this game was provided by the developer. I believe it just came out, like, the full release is pretty new. Um, I think it was... Um, I'm not sure exactly what the situation was earlier. Yeah, we got a nice little tutorial going on here. I Unfortunately, I was trying this out a little earlier and I had a few frame drops and I think it's probably my GPU. I'm finally getting, I found a GTX 1060 at normal price. I went with the EGA super clocked uh, six gigabyte version because I've had a two gigabyte card for six years. And I did not want to upgrade to a three gigabyte card. I, I just, I took offense to that. Anyway, I don't take offense to these sick beats though. What, what happened here? We got some nice rim lighting going on. You know, makes your character more defined. My guards are dead. I can no longer feel the presence. I'm so weakened. <laughs> Hello, Tron. How you doing? Steal yourself, my sibling. It's time to escape this place. Who are you? You are not like the others. You are not human. My name is Guide, and I've come to give you aid. You are like me. You only assist me now? I've been a prisoner for over three decades, and only now do you offer your assistance? We may discuss this later, but at this moment you must take, make efforts to arm yourself. Demons are coming for you, prisoner, and they're not your allies. Is that, is, is demons, like, is, do you just pronounce that as demons? Like, it has basically the same concept, right? I actually first heard that word, like, installer demon back in the Windows 95 days. They would, they would call installers that instead of, like, wizards for some reason. I'm sure there was some good reason. There's actually a lot of very violent terms in computing, like, if you want to shut down a process, you kill it. It's actually commanded Linux, just, you know, dash kill. I think it's dash. It's been so long since I've actually had to use Linux. I don't like, I don't like Linux. Uh, demons on the mortal plane? Impossible. It's been forbidden. Impossible or not, it has happened. The Termini forces have materialized here, and they are coming for you. You require weapons. Your deceased guards no longer have need for them. Oh, we got a couple pistols. You, you always gotta go for the akimbo pistols. Akimbo kit pistols is at least 40% cooler than just a single machine gun every time. 40% of the time it works every time. Alright, let's get going. So yeah, oh, that's a, that's a thing. Um, so yeah, like I said, acrobatic platformer. And so the aiming is kind of automatic. You can manually sort of suggest a target to the aiming system, but really the game is designed around movement, and the shooting is a little less consequential. It's kind of like how in some bullet hell games, you know, your aiming is totally automatic, or maybe enemies, you know, die over time, and you know, uh, I've seen some games where it's, you know, it, there's no shooting function at all in a bullet hell game, and um, you know, it's just different. It allows them to focus more on, uh, on the dodging and momentum mechanics. Yeah, wall jumps. D 
Demons have butchered the crew here. I do not understand. I was always told that the Termini could not exist on the plane of reality without assistance from one of our kind. Did you do this, guide, to rescue me? No, I did not. You did this yourself. Dun dun dun. No. Impossible. Never. I would not. I could not. Don't you feel drained, sibling? As if you're only a fraction of your former self? It took a considerable portion of your essence to manifest the Termini here. Such a phenomenal summoning is not without considerable cost. I have no reason to lie. You are the reason I am here. Oh. That's that's all you got to say? Motes. The floating yellow orbs are called motes. Collect motes to gain experience points, earning staff for a new blessing each time you level up. Alright. So yeah, we have abilities when we level up. And we gotta get our power back from the demons. Oh! Health chest. Good old fashioned health chest from, uh, like, uh, God of War. I am exhausted. Why is it that I cannot remember the, anything of recent days? My thoughts feel so clouded. You are weak from the summoning. Though you did reclaim your lost essence for the demise of each demon. Oh, you can reclaim your lost essence. The more of your essence you are able to retrieve, the more likely it is you'll survive the return journey to origin. Survive the journey? I can't go home unless I regain my essence? No. If you leave your human vessel before full strength, you will likely be trapped on this plane, unable to take a new vessel and unable to return home. Oakley Doakley, Resurrection. It's impossible for you to die during the tutorial. If you die during the main game, Seraph will resurrect at the entrance of the level. Okay. It's a nice low stress game then. Well, maybe low stress, at least. There's no game overs. Though, honestly, game overs are pretty rare now, and that that's a change in gaming I'm actually quite okay with. I really never liked the, the game over concept in the uh, SNES era. Because, like, actually my first games on SNES were Donkey Kong Country and Yoshi's Island. I mean, Donkey Kong Country, it's not its not an easy game. But, um, okay, I don't think that actually hurts. Um, but uh, it, it saves after every, well, once you get to a save point, which even that is kind of hard sometimes, or harsh sometimes. But uh, I could never get back into, like, certain Genesis games or NES games that didn't save. Um, like, I always had a heck of a time in Sonic, because it didn't save, and I didn't know the cheat codes. So I never liked that, because, you know, I had to replay Green Hill Zone. When I, I didn't even lose, you know, I lose in Oil Ocean, and you make me replay Green Hill Zone? Like, come on. I never liked that. Anyway, did I really summon of these abominations? Why would I help them? I believe you'd grown tired of your incarceration here, and they offered you a means of escape. Many would not blame you. But do you? I have no opinion on the matter. My goal is to allow you safe passage from this place. To return you to a rightful home. Alright. And for that to occur, I need to leave my human vessel. Which cannot happen whilst I am below full strength. Uh oh. I think she's a something awful poster. She's a goon! Aw, oh, let's let her die. <laughs> I must destroy more demons and reclaim my essence? Correct. Ending this demonic incursion through violence is your only option. We sure are a good angel, aren't we? We can only do things through violence, and we summoned a bunch of demons. That's, that's fine. Choosing a target. So yeah, you can manually choose a target with the right stick. You just sort of nudge it in the right direction. But uh, often it's not going to be too necessary, I assume. I mean, I've really only played this tutorial. Um, but it doesn't seem to be the intent that, you know, you'll be micromanaging targets. It's the way out. I can feel it. But it's sealed up with a corrupt marker of some kind. Uh oh, it's the black marker. Or the red marker, rather. Ah, oh, yes. This place is now home to several lieutenants of Terminus. They hold the largest portions of your essence within them, and thus must be vanquished for you to fully return home. They also hold the key to these demonic seals. Exercise the Terminus Lieutenant, break the seal. I understand. Oh, we've got objective markers. This is now a Ubisoft game. Alrighty. Hello, friends. I feel stronger already. I believe I'm able to manifest some of my more destructive miracles now. Good. Try using orb on these demons in front of you. B. Okay. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay. See, so yeah, every time we level up, we get a new one of those miracles, I think. Oh, hello. Smite. Oh, you have to use smite on the heavily wounded enemies. Okay, got it. Oh, and it has to have one smite per one of those, like, demon skulls. Okay. Uh-oh. Alright. Interesting. 
vile, wretched creature. The kind never should have been allowed to exist here. I shall vanquish them all in his name. The seal is broken. Return your way home and make your escape. Um, no way, dude. What if there's goodies hidden here? See? See? There were goodies hidden here. You don't know video games, Tron Man. You don't know. You're not my mom. Alright, oop. Oh, there's sort of a wall cling. Hold RB to ascend. Alright. I forget if I mentioned this, but uh, the game does auto switch whether you get controller thing, get controller or keyboard prompts, but. I kind of prefer when games let you pick between Xbox and PlayStation prompts, because I'm actually a lot more familiar with the PlayStation prompts. It's mostly the right button, right trigger thing, you know, that hurts me up, especially when it's like by shape. The shape always throws me off. Um, I've been in this location before, those many years ago. Not long after this prison was built for me, I was being transferred. I felt the presence of another demon lieutenant. You must find it and destroy it. Lieutenant. You gotta kill the champion of Terminus. Ooh, what's this? That thoroughly did not answer my question. I'm gonna assume it's some sort of like all around me attack. Oh, it's like a it's like a you know get away from me thing. Okay, that's useful, I guess. Oh, look at this guy! It is like giant loincloth. And yeah, he's dead now. Where'd you get that like loincloth, Saros? Oh, look at this guy! He's having a rave party. I almost feel bad for that. All right, so. Am I, I? I guess, yeah, I do need to go to the thing. But you know what? Screw it, because I got a thing. Getting things is way more important than doing what you're supposed to do. That's how video games work. <laughs> A plus. A freaking plus. I love being able to screw with enemies. Like, e even if it doesn't hurt, just being able to screw with them is often at least as fun as, you know, hurting. <laughs> she fell unlocked! Murder! Wonderful! Ah, uh, Chivos are great. Wow. <laughs> We're not very good at being an angel, are we? We just got an achievement for murder. That's what kind of angel we are. I'm still gonna get fired from, you know, the angel core. Uh, are the three marks, like, does that indicate, like, the ranking? Like, you know, military stuff? Or does that... I think it maybe just indicates they're about to attack or something. I don't know. So you can store up to two dashes. Oops. I'm glad there's no... Uh, uh, oh, there's the difficulty meter at the bottom there. Difficulty 1.1. Okay. I assume it's one of those things where getting hit knocks it down. And I always rather liked um, systems like that. It, it lets you... You know, um, Skyrim or the Oblivion scaled difficulty. That was a bad system of doing it, but I really like this sort of system where, you know, if you don't get hit, you know, the game assumes, yeah, you're having too easy of a time and I'll make it a little harder for you. Health is low, you can regain health by yellow item lockers. Wait. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I just noticed the mark one, so I guess we can upgrade these at some point? Alright, so this is... I have that machine gun that I previously mentioned is 40% less cool, um, so that's unfortunate. But, you know, I guess it's stronger. It's nice that we have infinite ammo on one of our guns, though. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, well, I'll, I'll use this weapon for now. Oop. Oop! I think this is the guy I pushed with the wind earlier. That was great. Wait, I'm still level one? Huh. I was figuring since I had two abilities, I must be level three, but I guess you just start off with a few abilities. Huh? Up oh, dead. Explore So if it's killed, she's at the level with reduced maximum health. It's cost one thing, but these are recovered when you reach the next level. Oh, okay. So I have lives, but they, you know, it's like modern Mega Man style instead of old Mega Man style. I never liked in the old Mega Man games, when you got to a new level, you may as well just die until you, you know, you know, if you have less than three lives, you may as well just die a couple times and then refill your lives meter. That was always so stupid that, like, the, you know, to, to recover your lives, you had to die a few times, like, 
Um, I think starting with ZX Advent, which is the last I think, kick in game actually, um, they finally did it so that you uh, didn't have to do that anymore. Um, like saving restores your lives basically. What's this? Oh, we can compare things. I guess it's slightly lower damage. Like I, I see this tiny sliver of red. But better accuracy. I think I'm gonna go with the submachine gun. Sure. But really, I'm just gonna use the pistols until I really need something. Okay, seal is broke. This is truly a terrible place. Humans are capable of crafting soft suffering. I do not blame you for losing your faith. I did not lose my faith. How could you suggest such a thing? No, something else must have caused this demonic incursion. Sibling, demons can only be allowed to manifest on the plane of reality with the assistance of one of our kind. You know this. No, you are wrong. There must be another way. A way neither you or I are aware of. <laughs> Look at that double pistol. Stance. Shard value. I think I get less score with... Uh, I don't know, does this actually affect me? XP? Uh, yeah, I think the XP from environment. Wait, no? I think that's just, you know, stuff that I picked up. A few current blessings, sure. Level up to get a new blessing. Okay. So we got some RPG stuff going on. Oh, B upgrades. Oaths, yes. Oh, whoa. Total shard value and munitions, what? Attach collected shards to activate them. The rare the oath, more powerful the oath. Split fire damage from dual wielded weapons is increased when attacking two separate. Oh, that is badass! Yes. Wait. I don't have. There's a lot of shards going on here. I don't. I don't think I have shards. Yeah, I don't. I don't have enough shards. I. I guess. I'm not really sure how we get shards. Transmutation. What? I've. Unlock Demon Sight, allowing Seraph to see and collect it. Ooh! That seems important, but I don't have enough transmutation to turn demonic body part. I need more gore. I need more demon gore. This game is metal! Okay. But I, I think... I've been thinking of sort of experimenting with slightly shorter videos than, you know, I've been going up to a half hour. I think maybe, maybe 15 minutes. I've heard that maybe, like, a lot of people don't want too much longer than 15 minutes. Um, for a video. So yeah, I think I'll, you know, a couple of levels is a decent episode. So yeah, I'll definitely play a bit more of this, um, at the very least. But, uh, yeah, this is, um, this is Seraph, and we are the world's worst angel, but we're also kind of the world's best angel. But yeah, tune in next time and we'll murder more things, because we're very good at not being a good angel.